with today's lesson and webinar. This is Steve Black from Business Success Training. And uh, there's been so many changes with Facebook about boosting your posts, what you should and shouldn't do. There's more uh, changes coming at the end of the month, end of October. So we're going to talk about all that. Any questions, enter them in the chat box and I'll bring you on live later if you'd like. Let's get going. Today we're going to talk about boosting your post. What should you boost or advertise? How to choose your ideal audience and hacks to get better results. And what this is going to lead to is more conversations. It's going to help you better nurture relationships and ultimately make more sales and position yourself as the expert out there with your sphere, your prospects, and your past customers. When we look at uh, Facebook and why we're even involved in social media on any level, with Facebook being our main example, because it is a 800-pound gorilla, uh, your goal on Facebook is to get into your prospects' news feeds, to get into your past customers' news feeds, to get into your sphere's news feeds. And there's really four ways to do that. Uh, if we were going to go ahead and... Uh, break this down. The first way you could do it is to be friends with them. Now, let's say you have a thousand friends on Facebook. The maximum is 5,000. You have about a 7% of achieving your goal by being friends with them on Facebook. Of course, they didn't connect with you as friends on Facebook to see about your business, to see about your store sale, to, to, to hear about the new listing you have, why they connected with you was because they thought you're a nice person and you could keep relationships going. So the 7% number is this. Let's say you're having a holiday party. You were talking it up on Facebook. 93% uh, of people are not going to uh, see it in their news feed, about 7%. And those are going to be based on Facebook's algorithm. And uh, edge rank, you may hear that term. Basically, how many people uh, that you're connected to have liked your comments, you know, given your reaction, uh, have commented, uh, have shared, or even viewed your stuff. Uh, when, when they come out there and they do one of those uh, four activities, Facebook's algorithm kicks in and says, well, they're at least kind of interested in what Jane's posting. Let's go ahead and show her more of Jane's stuff. But there's 93% of people that we might want to communicate, and if we're not putting people into lists and we're not, um, you know, um, uh, target, helping Facebook to determine who those 7% are, we're not going to be real successful. So we, we cure some of that with my six step process. As you add friends, put them into lists and there's videos in our members area about that. We've done webinars on that. The second way is for them to like your page. And when you set up a business page, one of your goals is to go ahead and get likes. But even if you go out there and you get a thousand likes on your business page, maybe 20%, 2% of the people, maybe 20 people are going to see your post. Uh, I've got, you know, 5,000 likes on this business page. And in the example I'm going to show you later, you know, 97 people, about 2% see it organically. And if I want the other 4,900 people to see it, I've got to pay to play. I've got to advertise it to them. I've got to boost that post. Um, you know, if you, if you have people in a group, that's a great strategy. Like I have a lot of realtors, you know, they've set up groups revolving around zip codes or subdivisions, you know, with 1,000, 1,500 homes in it. They've got half of the people in the group. And then they're able to get into people's news feeds. Now, that is dependent upon um, the person on the other end that's a part of the group. You know, are they choosing to receive all the posts, see them first, or only see them on a needs be basis? So we don't have a lot of control over that. Our best way to ensure that we get into people's news feeds, our prospects, customers, people in our sphere, people we're trying to target, is to understand how to boost and promote posts. Basically, how to pay to have a sponsored post in their news feed. And if you were to look at my news feed here, um, uh, you know, a news feed of, of one of um, my friends, you know, they would see one of my posts that show up with a question. The reason it's showing up in their news feed is because along the way, they probably commented or liked the post. And then down here in their news feed, they would again see another post, this time from Tom Ferry, 
but it's a sponsored post. So when you show up in people's news feeds, if you're one of the first three strategies, you're a friend, you like their page, you're part of the group, you're going to show up uh, just like, I, like this, like you see on the screen, and then you're going to scroll through your news feed and then you'll probably see posts from companies with people targeting you. Now, why would Tom Ferry target this person that uh, we, we did a screenshot of their news feed? Because they're in real estate and he's saying, hey, I want to get my message to realtors and I want them to go ahead and download something so I can create a conversation or get a lead. So that's how it works. Uh, you, you want to get into people's news feeds and you've got a way to do that organically, three different strategies, and then the paid strategy. The paid one is the most reliable of the four. So when I called this boosting your post for maximum productivity, this webinar, uh, people were messaging me and saying, you're going to do a webinar about how to use the blue button? Yes and no. Uh, when I use the term boost post, uh, it's going to mean promoting your post. Now, Facebook makes that boost post option on your business post very visible because they want you to spend money. And if you do everything else I teach you to do, meaning that you, you know, create custom audiences, you save these audiences, you upload your client database, you know, then you can use the boost, you got a lot of likes on your business page, you can use the boost post very effectively and that's a very easy way to do it. But for today's conversation, we're not talking about the blue button, we're talking about promoting posts. A lot of that's gonna be initially done through a thing called the ad creator, which I'll show you. And then later on from our mobile device or from our business page, we are gonna be able to click the boost post button and get more uh, better results from it. So uh, where should you start when you're uh, boosting your posts, when you're advertising? If I was to post this, uh, this uh, Zig Ziglar quote, which I did on my business page, I have a choice to either use the blue boost post or I go from my desktop to the upper right hand corner here where the drop down arrow is. And what I'm in it right next to my notifications, messages, friends, requests, and the help button, there's an arrow. I drop down and I go to where it says create ads. So if you're making a note, make a note, use the ad creator tool and then drop to create ads. Now there's a third one out there that's called the um, power editor. And as I understand it, the power editor is gonna be merging most of its features into the create ad tools and going away. So they're gonna combine uh, the best of, of this into one, one function. But I teach create ads because the power editor can be very intimidating and a lot of you are just getting started with, with this. So uh, we could either boost it, which is gonna be easy and quick. It's like going to the store and you know buying a pre-made salad. You're gonna pay a little bit more for it. You're not gonna be able to choose the exact ingredients you want. Or you can go up here and uh, go get yourself some spinach, get yourself some almonds, get yourself some tomatoes, get yourself some Brussels sprouts, just put the right amount of dressing on it and roll from there. It's going to be a little cheaper in the long run and uh, you're going to have more options available to you. Um, let's see if I can get this video to play and broadcast to you. Let's uh, uh, watch this together. Hopefully it'll broadcast well. It's about a two minute video on, on what boosting post is all about. Let me see if I can get this to play for you. I'll also stick this in the members area. Boosting a post is an easy way to reach more people who like your page and people who don't know about your business yet. When you boost a post, it may appear in your audience's newsfeed the constant stream of updates from someone's friends, family, and things they care about. You can boost a post when you create it or after you publish it. Just click the boost post button and you'll get some options on how to reach more people. For your audience, you can choose to reach more of the people who like your page and their friends, or you can reach a new audience by choosing from their location, age, gender, or even by their interests. Just type in what your audience might like or be interested in and we'll automatically generate suggestions. Give your audience a name, then click save. You can use the same audience for other posts you boost too. 
In the budget field, you can select a specific amount or enter your own. After you select a budget, we'll show you an estimate of how many people your post may reach each day. Select how many days you'd like your boosted post to run. Then click the Boost Post button and your post will be delivered to your audience after a short ad review process. And as your post reaches people, you'll see how it's performing on your page post or in your page insight section. For more so the first question I get asked is where can you boost from? Well, you could do it from your business page. And uh, this is one of the main advantages to having a business page is that on our personal profile, we are limited to, to getting the word out to people we know and their friends, basically people we're connected to. So to use a real estate example, if you had a farm territory and you were connected to 10 homeowners on a personal level inside that farm territory from HOA meetings, PTA meetings, etc., how are you going to reach the other 490? The only option you have is either get those 490 people to like your business page and we'd have to figure that out. That'd be a very tough endeavor and you probably wouldn't achieve it. Or you can use Boosted Post to go ahead and reach that audience for like eight bucks. So you would simply choose the zip code, you would choose homeowners, and then um, maybe there'd be another qualifier like people that live in houses over 3,000 square feet if it was an upscale uh, subdivision. Um, organic reach for most business pages when you post there is like 2%. So uh, this allows us to get legs under our posts and, and take that number from 2% to, you know, if you're po boosting a post to people that like your page, uh, you know, a dollar will get you sometimes between four, five, six hundred people. I have somebody on a webinar that uh, I coach, it's Lisa Hill, and uh, as soon as she started boosting her posts for a dollar a day, and I told her to boost every post at least for a dollar per day. Uh, she, she, she was amazed by the, the number of likes she got, the comments, the interaction, and also the reach. So we're not just doing it for reach, we're doing it really on the end game to get that interaction because that's where the conversations come from and we'll talk about that. But everybody's clear, this is why we start our posts on our business page, whether it's our uh, inventory at our antique store, uh, it's our listings, our chisels, our open houses. Open houses, of course, are set up as an event. Your BNI meeting is set up as an event, but it all starts on our business page, and then we can share it to our personal profile to the list that we've set up and get that uh, targeted organic reach, leverage that 7%. But now we can also advertise to anybody we want. And what we're going to do with our posts is we're going to promote all our posts, okay? Uh, and I'll talk about that. But th the question I get asked is, well, Steve, why would I pay to promote my posts? Well, if you would pr printed up flyers and you wanted to get them out to your target audience and you went the traditional route of mailing it via snail mail, you would have to put a 50 cent stamp on it. Well, this, you've got to put a stamp on it through Facebook, but it doesn't cost you 50 cents. It's, it's more like a, a penny or two. Now, the reason that we do it is, first off, there's four reasons. Now, the first and easiest of these is so we get a reaction. Now, a lot of people, you know, they make a post and their business page and they don't have any reactions. They go to their personal profile, you know, they post something, they got 10 or 15 reactions. So the natural instinct from a vanity perspective is to then say, well, the business side isn't working, I'm gonna start posting more of my stuff on my personal profile and I'm gonna shortcut Facebook's process. Uh, this is against the terms of service of Facebook and it's also not helping you in the long run because a lot of those vanity statistics over there are people that you already know. Uh, however, if we promote a post over here and we get a reaction from somebody we don't know, we can then either invite them to like our page or we can go ahead and start a conversation. So our first goal is to post interesting stuff like local pictures, uh, cool blouses, uh, 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 tax tip if you're an accountant uh, or an attorney and then get people, uh, promote it and get people to like it. The second th reason that we promote posts is to get comments. 
So you can see in this screenshot, 1,064 people are reached. On the left side, you'll see uh, the organic reach, actually. On the right, you'll see the paid reach. So just by getting the wheels going to a few people for a few dollars, uh, this post caught legs because 11 people liked, uh, reacted to it with love, like, or wow. Two people shared it, and then uh, we got also comments. Now, if I wanted to go back over to Lisa Hill's comment with a private message and just say, hey, uh, tell me why you feel this way, we can open a conversation. Or it might be a different kind of message like, hey, I saw you like my post. How, how's your uh, – first few weeks of fall been for you, so we could open a conversation. Uh, now we get into a little bit tougher stuff. The first two are easy, the third one's a little bit tougher. You go ahead and you put an article up there, either something that links to your law, uh, blog, uh, your website, or somebody else's, and people may or may not be interested in this. So. Uh, you know, to get somebody to click on it might or might not happen. The other thing is, in this example, I just copy and pasted an IRS article from the Washington Post under the business page. Well, if people click on that picture, they click on that link, they're going to be taken to the Washington Post. So I paid a dollar to send traffic over to the Washington Post. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing because I am coming up with interesting content for my uh, fan base. I'm, it's not about me. It's about them. My entrepreneurial uh, uh, and unmarried partners would be very interested in this, as would people that are in real estate, so that they could be educated. Uh, the traffic is going to end up over there at the Washington Post, but along the way, they might give me a reaction, like a like, a, a, a wow, a uh, love, or one of the other reactions. And also, because they have interacted with one of my posts, I can then use an advanced technique called retargeting, where I'm going to go ahead and say, I put it out there to 1,000 people. I had you know, 70 people click on the link. I want to start running more ads about tax stuff and also about unmarried stuff to those 70 people. Uh, we used to achieve this by having a Facebook pixel on our website, uh, but now we can also achieve this by going to third-party sites because there's a feature inside the ad editor, I'll show you later, where you can target people that have just interacted with your post. So uh, people ask me, should I promote other people's stuff? I was on a webinar with some, another speaker, and she said, don't go ahead and promote other people's stuff. I say always promote at least for one dollar so you stay in the algorithm your post whether it's yours or somebody else's but if it's your content we might do ten dollars or twenty dollars like this article here you could have went ahead and gotten in front of a facebook live and said hey i just read an interesting article in the washington post about the irs giving big gifts to unmarried partners and i want to talk to you about it in that Facebook Live summary of the article, you might go five to 15 minutes. You might give them a link to the, the, the original article, but the reality is you're going ahead and then getting more people to watch you talk about it. And in my opinion, that would be the best strategy. But some of you are so busy, you don't have time, so you're gonna just go to Hootsuite like I did here. You're gonna find some good content, you're gonna copy and paste it, and boom, you're, you've, got, you've got posts out there. Now, if you're a real estate agent, I've got in the members area over 100 posts like this that you can copy and paste, and I'm going to be adding to them on a regular basis. I have a new batch ready to be posted. Uh, if you're not in real estate, I'm also going to be posting as part of your membership, and this is why you want to keep your membership active and you know, uh, be a part of it, never shut it off. Uh, I'll be posting some pictures that you could post. I'm also going to post some questions that you can just copy and paste into Hootsuite and have them post for you, or you could use the publishing feature. And the fourth reason to uh, boost a post would be to get an opt-in. Now, getting somebody to give you their email address is harder and harder. And so a lot of people start with this strategy, they fail, and then they say, well, I've given up on Facebook because I'm not getting any leads or I'm not getting any opt-ins. Your opt-ins are really going to be happening when people give you a reaction or a comment. They are basically saying, I saw it. I don't want to give you my email address. I'm acknowledging it. And from that point, you can open a conversation. But I have a lot of you know, people, they're more serious about it. They say, Steve, I, don't, I, I, I like that strategy, but I want to go to the next level. 
They'll set up an IDX search if they're in real estate right from Facebook or the, a link to it. They'll go ahead and get people to opt in via uh, sending them to a landing page or that IDX search and, and rock and roll. But along the way, just because people clicked on it, even if they move away and don't give you their email address at this point for the home value or whatever your offer is, free report, you can still retarget them either through the pixel or because they interacted with one of your posts. But getting the actual opt-in is hard. Uh, getting uh, someone to click on a link is a little bit easier. Getting them to like it while they're scrolling on their cell phone at Starbucks or commenting is easier. So then the question becomes, which posts are the best one to post? I said boost them all for at least a dollar a day, and all means all. Stay in the algorithm. Even people I've told this to aren't doing it. I've got a few up there that aren't boosted right now as well, but I did that for a reason so I can show you the difference in reach and interaction. Uh, the reason is this will give them legs. It'll take it from uh, 97 people reached here without boosting it to several hundred, even for a dollar for a day. Now, a good number is $2 for two days because what if the person that likes your page isn't, on Facebook today, it'll get into their newsfeed tomorrow, theoretically. And why I say boost it is because when we boost it, uh, Facebook has a nice little feature that they will add to your photo or they'll add to your message. And you can't even get this through the ad creator. They're starting to roll it out more, but uh, not through all of their choices. Um, they're starting to roll out. If you upload a picture on your business page, you could ask, add a message us button. Uh, the Facebook Messenger, and I'm not going to go too deep down that rabbit hole today, but that's going to be your best friend moving forward. Right now in 2017, I would rather have somebody message me on Facebook than give me an opt-in of their email address because they don't check their email, but they're on Facebook all the time. And if I can initiate, get them to initiate messaging me, let me show you what I mean. Um, if I could get them to message me, let me see if I have a screen on this, right here. Um, if I could get them to uh, send me a message, I can set up the Facebook bots to automatically uh, follow up with them. I could go ahead and then say I want to mess use the uh, pay to have Facebook messengers bots remind them that they need to be on the webinar or uh, ask them a question like, are you still in the market to buy? It's a super powerful strategy. It's beyond the scope of today, but understand that when you boost, you can go ahead and then choose to get that button, and we'll come back to this slide. But uh, when we ask ourselves which posts are best to boost, uh, you, you're looking to boost the posts that are already doing good, or if you're doing it from the get-go, ones that you think are going to do good, like local photos. I tell everybody, take a lot of pictures of your local area. If you live in Lakeland, Take pictures of the Lakeland downtown on the first Friday. Take pictures of the lights as they put up the holiday tree, uh, trees. Take pictures at the, your favorite wine bars. Things that people are going to say, oh, I know that place. I love that place. Let me give it some love. Uh, funny memes that you've either um, created on your own by getting a great picture and then uh, putting some text to it. Not too much text. No more than 20%. Uh, you do that through Canva or Word Swag, um, creating you know an enticing IDX search where people are going to ask uh, questions about it or like it. Um, the business stuff, blog articles, open houses, just listed should also be boosted, but this is for a different reason. Uh, this isn't to create this high engagement. That's to get the word out and get maybe a conversion. But right now, when we're talking about this overall process, let's get in interaction and let's create conversations. Um, we want to go ahead and focus on the stuff that's going to get the most likes, the most memes, and the most uh, uh, reactions. So here's an example of, on our business page, sharing a post from Tony Robbins. A lot of my audience, the people that like our page, like Tony Robbins, so I thought this was a value. I shared it from his uh, business page to ours. And uh, all I did was click the share button. It said share to a page. I selected the business success training page. I added uh, our hashtag 59 minutes to terrific because he's kind of re-emphasizing uh, what I uh, uh, tell you in the seminars. He said, I try to make sure I don't miss a day without reading for at least 30 minutes of something that's going to give me a new skill. 
and uh, uh, highlight a new strategy. That's what I teach at 59 Minutes to Terrific. Read for 15 to 30 minutes, exercise, drink two big glasses of water, journal. And so I thought this was valuable. I shared it to the business page. And without boosting it, 58 of 5,000 people, 6,000 people saw it. So like 1% reach. So when I go ahead and add a dollar or two to this, this number is going to jump to 500, 600 of my fans liking it, hope, uh, seeing it. Hopefully along the way, some like it, comment, and then I can monitor those reactions. Um, the best post to post, though, for more money are your original content. You could go again through Facebook Live or a video and talk about this article, include the link, leverage Tony's name, be within copyright laws, and then uh, boost it for more money because you are leaving a breadcrumb of credibility. You are positioning yourself uh, with your audience as the expert. You're endearing yourself to them, and uh, it takes a little more time, but it's worth it. Because the end game, as you know, when they click on this, they end up over at Tony Robbins' site. I don't mind because I believe in what he does and go over there if you want. But um, why are we willing to invest the money? So we've talked about what to post, ideally your content, but po boost all of them. Because as they come in, we're able to monitor and engage those conversations. So here I created a piece of original content. I got a picture of a soldier at a cemetery. Uh, you can get those from Shutterstock. You write that down, S-H-U-T-T-E-R-S-T-O-C-K.com. Uh, for a dollar, you can get something like that. Um, Facebook's ad interface would also allows you to access a lot of those images from for free. So if your main purpose is to go ahead and just run an ad, you'll have access to their library. Um, you could go to a website called Unsplash, U-N-S-P-L-A-S-H.com. Uh, look for royalty-free images. I then uploaded it into uh, an app that I have on my phone called Word Swag, so I could superimpose the text. Write that down, W-O-R-D-S-W-A-G. I put Memorial Day 2017. I had a hunch that this was going to get shared a lot based on my boosting it. So I also included F, you can't see it, but it says FB forward slash Steve Black Speaker. So as people, uh, as it was shared with people, or if people just decided to download it and not give me credit, I would end up forcing getting credit. I'd like you to start doing that with your better images. There's also an app, if you don't want to use Word Swag, it's called Watermark. You can write that one down. That'll work on your phone. Watermark, just like it sounds. So I uploaded it here to my business page. I wrote some text, less is more. I included my hashtag so people could easily check out other stuff that I do. This was done on my business page, or one of them, my page called Steve Black Public Figure. And it got over 334, 333 reactions. And now I'm able to go ahead and hover over here and get a quick view of the people plus another 314 that liked it. So what I'm going to do, I also can see who's commenting and I can reply to these comments. And I'm going to take you step by step through once people are reacting or commenting, what do you do? But it starts here. I hover over it. I would then go ahead and click right here on this highlighted area. And that would take me to a new screen where I'm able to invite these people to like my business page. And let me show you how this works. So now uh, what would come up when I click on that is a list of, again, the 333 people that have reacted to that post. And right now I am basically showing you why we are doing all this. A lot of people have no clue. They're like all proud that they got 100 likes, but they aren't doing this part. So they aren't actually doing anything except staying top of mind with people they know. You want to use your dollars not only to stay in touch with people you know, but to reach new people. Somehow I got into Steve Guggenheim's uh, uh, news feed. And I know how that I got in front of his news feed because he hadn't liked my page yet because I have the option to invite him. How I got there was when I boosted this post, I boosted it 
not only to people that like my page, but also to their friends that lived in Washington and Seattle. Now, when I did that, I reached 7,800 people. You can't see this, I'll show you it later, but I only invested about $38. I only paid to reach about 3,100 people, but I reached 78 because people liked it, commented, and shared it, and it went organic. But what, as I get those likes, I then go ahead, I click right here on this hyperlink, and then this screen will pop up, and then you scroll this screen, for people that don't already like your page and you invite them to like. And what they receive is a simple little invite. And if you invite a, a hundred people to like your page using this method every time you post, or a combination of posts for some of you, because you're not getting that many likes to get uh, to start with, for every 100 you send out, you're going to get about 15 people liking your page. So this is one of the daily routines that you want to do. Put out content, check in in 12 to 24 hours, come to this screen and invite them to like your page with a single click. Now, uh, if I wanted to go to the next level with this beyond inviting, I would just click right here on Steve G's name and I would be taken to his Facebook profile. And I would be able to see what he has publicly posted. Assuming I'm not a friend of his, I'm going to see, you know, where does he work at? What does he do? What state does he live in? What is he a positive guy? Is he a negative guy? Does he like hunting? Does he like fishing? And nothing would stop me at this point from cold calling him. If he was in my target market, uh, for me, it's a small entrepreneur, business owner, a broker at a real estate company, I could then... Facebook message him, I could call him, I could, uh, you know, find his email somehow, call his company, get his information, and I could reach out to him and say, hey, Steve, this is Steve Black, I'm with Business Success Trading, he says, yeah, I've seen you on Facebook, what's up, man? I say, hey, uh, I came across your profile, looks like we have, you know, a lot in common, I, I checked you out on Facebook, I, how do you know Tony? He says, I, well, Tony's a friend of mine, and I go, I, I go, he's one of my coaching clients, he goes, oh, very cool. Well, listen, I, I didn't call to sell you anything. I just, uh, you know, I put together kind of a report, the details, you know, some things that are going on. I'd love to send it to you. Can, can I get your email address? Well, great. I have two packages. One's for people that are thinking about doing something. And so one's people that aren't thinking about doing anything in this area. Which one do you want? A script, uh, a process like this, whether you're in real estate, you're in mortgage, you're in financial services, you're in network marketing, this is gold. And this is how we go ahead and get leads. This is how we force people to um, refer their clients, friends to us, even if they haven't actually taken the initiative to talk to people about us. So I hope you're getting excited. Um, the second reason is uh, besides monitoring those likes, we just monitor the comments. And one thing that you want to do, as you see with the red arrow, on a daily basis, after you've put up a good piece of content, whether it's on your personal profile with your friends or on a business page and promoted to reach more people, both people that like you and people that don't know you, but you want them to know you, you like their posts, you like their comment, that they get notified uh, that, hey, you know, your, your, your comment was liked by the person who did it. Now they feel they have a relationship with you. Um, you could choose, as you see with the green arrow, to reply, and then you would have a reply that would be showing. So you could say, hey, good for you for going to the cemetery. I make a goal of, of doing that uh, first thing in the morning every Memorial Day as well. And then all of a sudden, other people see that, and they'll say, hey, I like what that's all about, and we can take that step one process to the next level uh, off of people that are liking your replies. Um, the ninja trick I always tell people uh, with, with social media is take your online relationships offline, whether those are people that you're connected to on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram. If you have an opportunity to then send them a Facebook message to say, hey, I'm just new to social media. I like to talk to people. Are you open to having a phone call? You know, I'm part of a uh, Ignite You, and, you know, we have 125 people that get together in Tacoma twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, I'd love to have you as my guest and then, you know, sit down and learn more about you. All these are opportunities to take these online relationships offline. I know a lot of you have people you're connected to on social media, and you haven't seen that person in more than a year or ever met them. So look for opportunities to get face-to-face. -face. I bet it'll help you build your business. Um, 
so you kind of got the game plan together, what we're going to be, why we're doing this. We're doing it to create engagement. So now we got to talk a little bit about how to actually post. And I'm going to go over the chat section and, and kind of open it up for Q&A. If you have any questions about what we talked to up to this point, just enter it in the chat box. Anybody have any questions? All right. So um, I want to jump in here and um, just talk to you guys about what we covered up to this point. We covered a lot. And, uh, you know, it, it, the bottom line is if you don't boost your post, you're not going to get exposure. I had a very nice lady, um, classic example of not knowing really where, what to do on Facebook. You know, she, she's not really a Facebook user. She owns a real estate brokerage. And um, she, was, she had paid somebody to set up her page she had paid somebody to go out there and post this content and the content was good. I mean, you know, it was nice articles about luxury real estate and stuff, but she only had five likes on her business page. So she's taken the money, the time to get this page looking great, which is terrific if somebody researches her and that probably happens. But the reality was she wasn't getting into anybody's news feed. So we did a migration on her page, set up actually a new page. We're attempting to merge the old page with, the, with that, uh, the, the, the new page, which I advised against because if you've tried the merge, it can be a hassle. You have to deal with uh, customer service, though we're having a lot of success with that. And I put something in your chat box that you need to copy. There's a special link there. Uh, if you ever want to talk to Facebook and not have to deal with, I sent them a message, they're not responding to me. They have a little known chat service that goes from 10 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m., I think it is. Let me pull that up. I put it in the chat here. Uh, it's 10 a.m. to 8, uh, uh, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So if you're, your ads are getting rejected, you know, you can send them a message. It starts off in a frustrating way where uh, it's a bot, but then it moves towards, did this satisfy your answers? No, and then you end up in a live chat with somebody. So uh, when I initiated this, Samira, I've, I've sent you a couple links on this because I know you were having a challenge merging your pages. Uh, we got the, uh, they, we had requested the merge three separate times. We got no response from Facebook. It just wasn't happening. Uh, we went into the chat bot within like 18 hours. We had it done. You know, the two pages merged together. No more problems. Um, I've gotten ads approved that were being disapproved. I got explanations about why things aren't happening. So um, make sure you know that link. It's in the chat box. It's m.me forward slash Facebook ad support. And if you enter that in the browser and you're logged into Facebook, boom, the chat box opens up. Um, if anybody has any questions, enter them into the chat box or raise your hand and um, I, I want to bring Lisa Hill on. I think, Lisa, I saw you here. Um, I know that you won our, um, our uh, Facebook ad contest uh, back there. I think it was Memorial Day. Might have been some other holiday. It's, they're starting to all run together with me. But um, I, I saw your Labor Day post in my news feed. I know you promoted, paid to promote that. So I'm going to unmute you and just kind of what's working for you out there in the field on boosting post. And then everybody has a question that are in the chat box or I'll unmute you and we can all talk. And then we have some more lesson to do. Hey, Lisa, how you doing out in Orlando? I'm good, I'm good. The weather's kind of nasty, but other than that, it's good. That's why I do not do Florida in the summertime. My opening line at my seminars, uh, I'm on tour in the Mid-Atlantic up in uh, Pennsylvania, Delaware, uh, Virginia, DC. And uh, unfortunately, we have the rain as well, and, I, and we had some really hot days. But my opener, basically, with the groups is, who's been to Florida in September, October? And that's why I'm here. But uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring the good weather with me like I did last year to the West Coast. But uh, Lisa, t uh, tell us about Facebook. Well, I, you're, you're killing it. Uh, congratulations on getting over to the, uh, the m milestone of over 5,000 likes on your business page. Yeah, and, yeah, I'm doing that yeah. just by my ads. I, so um, you're advertising, and then what are you doing? You're inviting people after I they like, like the post? Absolutely. I invite, I, that's my morning routine. I go in every morning and I check my ads. I see if, you know, if it's new people that they, they are liking. And I'll tell you what, I saw in the um, downloads where you talk about the birthday, you know, I have an ongoing ad where I wish 
all of people a happy birthday. And I can't tell you how many people I invite every day just from that um, to like my, my business page. But the one thing that I've done, and you know, I'm really big into the condos in downtown Orlando. And so I've been getting more and more listings. And I um, did an ad for the penthouse, which is the one that we have for, you know, 2 million. And I actually got a lead off of it. I and saw that. That was so awesome. I, 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 it was a beautiful property, by the way. If anybody knows any athletes, any uh, business people uh, that are looking for a terrific property in Orlando, boy, that, 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 that was really nice. Well, and, and all I did is I created the luxury audience. And I, you know, I, I targeted basketball players because of the Orlando Magic. And, nice. you know, and luxury, kind of luxury things like Rolexes, Mercedes, um, anything that they may be interested in that's a luxury item. And I've had a lot. In fact, I think, um, I haven't checked it today, but I'm well over, you know, I've reached over 6,000 people just with that ad. And very inexpensively. I think I did it for like, you know, 20 bucks or something. I don't even remember, but, um, and, you know, and then I just sold one of my other units that I, you know, put on, on Facebook. It was a new listing and I had a fellow contact me from Houston and he said, I want to buy it. I want to buy it now. So I took it and I did a FaceTime uh, showing he made an offer, the seller accepted, and tomorrow we're doing the building inspection and we're closing the end of September. Wow. So, yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's and, awesome. And, and it's all Facebook. And, you know, that's what I'm trying to tell the agents in our office. You know, you guys are missing the boat. You got you to gotta get on there because the advertising is so inexpensive. And, you know, I mean, it's like I, you guys are missing the boat if you're not doing the, the advertising on Facebook. Well, I think, I think that's what the secret sauce is that's missing for a lot of people. And, and, I, and you also hear, you know, well, it isn't working for me. And then I'm like, okay, well, well, what exactly are you doing? Well, you know, I boosted a post. Well, I'll get inside their ad interface. I'll look at that custom audience and it's the wrong audience. Or they're just, you know, don't really know how to judge success. I mean, success isn't always judged by somebody messaging you on Facebook. Yeah, you've had that happen. But, you know, a lot of times it's, you know, that your name is out there. Maybe they come to the open house. Maybe they call off of a sign, you know. And, and so I think it's that, um, you know, just getting those eyeballs on things. I mean, if you were to do a mailing or I know you did a, didn't you run a big ad in a newspaper or was it a magazine yeah, or something? I paid, yeah, I paid $800 for an ad that was in a downtown Orlando magazine and it only ran one week. And I paid $800 for it and I got zilch out of it. Uh, one guy recognized me down on the urban trail when I was walking doodle and he said, Hey, I saw your ad. That was all I got for 800 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, I mean, I'm not dissing offline advertising cause it does have its place, but you know, if you're going to mail, let's say luxury magazines or do a mailing piece about your buildings that you're representing, you know, at least amplify it by, you know, creating a custom audience on Facebook and, um, I got to talk about custom audiences because as the Facebook algorithm changes, you know, before uh, June and before, you know, Mark Zuckerberg had to go to Congress, you know, we had a lot more targeting options available. So now you have to figure out what the workaround is. So that's what I want to kind of give everybody here, Lisa, you, you included. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, I mean, the golden days of Facebook ads was, you know, just a few months ago. You know, when, when uh, we used to be able to advertise to homeowners, they've taken that away from us. So you can't yeah. go in the interface now and target homeowners. And some of your downloads even say to target homeowners. And I changed on the updated download, which is also in the chat box to people that live in the area. Now, the workaround on this would be, you know, um, people, you could go ahead and you could choose. Uh, let me see if I can get on the screen for you. We'll do a little screen share here so you guys, it's easier to show you. Go ahead and pull this up. So when we start to talk in the next module, you know, about like targeting people, um, 
you know, we, we mentioned using the drop down menu instead of using the boost post button because we, we get more. Now, now, with that being said, the boost post button is getting better than it used to be. I think if you've used it, you'd, you'd agree, but you have to have those custom audiences set up. And then you have to, um, then, then, then the workaround, uh, I'll just, we'll, we'll just continue with the lesson rather than try to pull that up. But, you know, the workaround is going to be, you know, target people that live in your area that are of a certain age, but like Trulia, or they like Zillow, or they like Realtor.com, because those people automatically are people that would be buyers or sellers, Lisa, in your case, for real estate. So while Facebook has taken away some of these boosting or targeting options that were really attractive, the creative people like yourself and some of my other top students, they're saying, okay, well, I can't reach them that way. How do I reach them based within the, 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 the things that Facebook's allowed, allowed to share with us now? Um, there's also an interest category for home ownership versus, um, you know, being a homeowner demographic. So uh, there's all these things that are going on, and that's the stuff you want to come into the members area with and and and, and ask questions about. Um, uh, I'm, Susan, I'm going to get to your question about you know um, putting people into groups. You're calling it putting them into groups. You're probably putting people on your personal profile into friends list, and I'll show you. I'll show everybody real time how to access those once you've put them into friends list. Now, if you're adding them to a group, that's a whole different ball game, and uh, you know I don't think that's what you're doing. But I, I, I know what you're trying to ask there. Uh, Dennis uh, said I've had some success on Facebook with open house ads. What other one should I put up? Let me let me unmute you, Dennis. Tell us what you're doing out there, and uh, go ahead and talk to us. How you doing, Dennis? I'm doing great. It's nice and sunny here in New Smyrna Beach. So, uh, anyways, I've been doing uh, open houses every weekend, and I've been doing the ads every when I do an open house Saturday and Sunday. I've been starting the ads on Thursday, and I've been doing twenty dollars every week. And I'm getting some success because I ask people who's coming to my open house, how'd you hear about me? And about 85% said Facebook. And the other uh, 5% said Realtor.com, which is I'm really surprised. And but it's You're probably paying a lot of money on the Realtor.com side, or at least, you know, uh, you would expect that you get I don't, pay, I don't pay nothing on Realtor.com. I do everything on face through Facebook. Smart, smart. So tell us what you're doing with your ads, because your question was, how could they be better? Are you just posting that you're having an open house, or are you setting it up as an event? I'm setting up as an event, but what else besides open houses should I be posting? Because that's all I've been doing off through my business page uh, as far as boosting posts. So Lisa just told us that uh, you, po Lisa, jump in here. You, you posted a listing and then got your own buyer for it. What did you post? Cause he's posting open houses. Yeah, no, actually this is, um, it's an, a listing in the building and I, I just took it and yes, I, I boosted it. I ran it for, you know, people looking in downtown Orlando for condo and I have my audience set up for that. And a guy in Houston who was not a friend of mine on Facebook found it and I got it under contract within, you know, three days of putting it on the market. So um, there, there's several things that you can do. And I know that in the video earlier, Steve talked about, you know, you know boosting someone else's um, link, which I did with um, uh, Channel 6 here in Orlando. They ran this thing about, you know, how they're creating this whole big entertainment complex down in downtown Orlando, which is right across the street from the building that I have an office in. So I boosted that post and that thing's gone crazy. And, you know, it's just, you know, people in downtown Orlando and I just said that one, I just did the kind of generic friends of friends and, you know, and it's gone crazy. So um, I think that you can just, um, what I would suggest, Dennis, is maybe go out and, and go to, um, a, you know, a local restaurant or something like that and just do a Facebook Live video from there and yeah. just start boosting things that way and, and just doing different content. By the way, thank you. I've done a couple of Facebook Live already because of you. Uh, <laughs> put me in front of uh, that day at Steve's training. I actually did some up in Greensville, North Carolina. Had too much to drink that night, but it was a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, 
I'm actually going to be doing Facebook Live every week starting very shortly. I'm ordering all the stuff to be able to do it. And I'm, I'm, I've already I've taken some of your suggestions. I got some local uh, uh, lenders. I'm also talked to some other local type of businesses and they all want to do it. So, and I'm actually going to be doing Candidate Monday because the elections are coming up. So I'm going to oh, be- Oh, that's awesome. That's a good one. So I'm actually going to be doing uh, live interviews for candidates coming up within the next couple of weeks before the election. That's so I kicked into the, uh, into the chat box the uh, tool. So if you ever want to do the interview style like that Lisa Hill's doing and that Dennis is talking about doing, it's in the chat box. It's called BeLive.TV. Now, if you just sign up, it's kind of a little bit confusing. They don't ask for a credit card or anything, but they say, do you want to get a 14 day free trial? And let's say you went for the middle option that they offer. They offer three packages. You're not going to get charged. You're going on a two week trial to get used to using it. And that one will give you all the tools that you need to add the, you know, the, the script, hey, candidate for election or uh, mortgage broker, ABC, make it look like a television interview. And then, um, uh, if, if you decide, if they, you know, you don't up, up, you know, ante up to join, um, you still have an account. And Lisa, correct me if I'm wrong, with the free account, you could do two a week or is it two a month? Two a week. And you just don't get all of the options. Like yeah. I think that you can do like an interview kind of situation, but yeah. like you couldn't do the talk show where we, you can literally have four people at one time doing a video. Um, so that you just don't get some of the options. Um, but even if you do, uh, if you do, if you really get into doing the video, I would say just do the middle of the road one. You get all of the options. You get to, you know, brand yourself. You can put your logo. You can do whatever you want if you have that middle of the road. And it's only for 13 months. I think it's like $240 a year. So everybody, um, you know, that's BeLive.TV. Uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm just telling you the tools that you would use. Now, back to today's lesson, which is how to boost, the, what to boost. So Dennis, um, you know, you're, you're putting your, your open house up. Uh, for, your, for you, you need to put up listings. You need to put up just solds. Anything that you would normally mail a postcard to, you're going to put on your business page. And then if you're going to take the time to boot, uh, put it up there, especially if it's self-serving, you know, 10 to $100 boost, you know, and I use boost interchangeably with the create ad, but basically promote the post, get it out there to thousands of views. And where the magic's going to come in is, is two things. One in, in, in reactions and comments, like we talked about. The second thing is you can actually run an ad back to people that interacted with that post. So Lisa talked about sharing a, um, uh, a Channel 6 News, I think she mentioned. I may, I may be wrong about the details, but, you know, that's awesome. And, you know, boost that for a dollar or two. Just get the wheels going. I know, Lisa, you've told me that you've had success stories where, wow, I went from, you know, 50 people seeing it to 400 people seeing it just by putting a couple bucks on it. But, um, but with the, an even better strategy would be, like, to take – the, the what they're talking about and then do a Facebook live Dennis where you're talking about new Smyrna Beach and how the dig out of the you know down in Melbourne of the canal is going to affect commerce and you know with Northrop Grumman you know bringing so many jobs in you know a lot of the engineers are looking at new Smyrna as a place to live and you know going that route where you summarize it because the end result if we ever you know share a link even if we're boosting it for a couple of dollars we lose the traffic but if it, you, you include the link and you do a facebook live and talk about it or you know give them a summary you're going to get you're going to keep people engaged with you so that would be my advice there um i want to kind of uh, i want to go uh see if i could get over to lisa hill's page and we'll talk i'll show you what one of these interviews look like uh, I'm at her videos. I'm going to pull up one of her Facebook lives that she did with uh, with uh, Be Live TV. So uh, she interviewed this guy, a uh, mortgage broker, uh, about uh, your appraisal is low. Now what? Here's a lender's perspective. And I'm going to turn on screen share for this. And uh, let's hope it works good for us. Hey, happy Monday, everybody. This is Lisa Hill, and I'm here today with Mortgage Monday with Patrick Lewis. Um, Patrick? Hello, thanks for having me again. Yeah, today we are, um, I don't know if you guys watched my show on Saturday, I kind of well, went on a little- stop there, so the real point of this was so that you can see uh, what, what, what's going on. Now, what I want you to look at, watch this. Uh, let me see if I could do this correct. Look at how many people she reached. 
she reached over uh, uh, 3,000. Uh, 345 people. She had 18 people react to the post. She she had over uh, 2,000 people watch it for at least three seconds. And um, let me see if I can get back to the cursor here. I got to get out of annotate mode. Here you go. And her promotion. Wow. Lisa, how much did you invest in this? Because I, uh, I, I uh, let me go ahead and clear this. They're all my drawings now. And let me see, uh, the promotion, it's not letting me click. Here's the mouse, here it is. Uh, your promotion, it looks like on this, her boosted post was a whopping $20. Yeah, I typically on the, um, the shows like the Mortgage Monday and Title Thursdays, I do, I, I go about 20 bucks for seven days on those. And if you're looking here, you could see, um, you can see, uh, you know, who she targeted uh, in this. She went ahead and targeted people who like her page and their friends who live in one location. That a location being Orlando or with that location being Florida? I, I believe it was um, Florida. Gotcha. So you can see for a little bit of money here, she reached a lot of people and she got views. Now what happens, as I said, uh, we can go back over here to the post, she can go ahead and engage in conversations with other people like Samira, who happens to be another Keller Williams agent. You know, now they can develop a referral relationship. She can look here at Rebby, see who she is, uh, at Privy Salon, and then, uh, you know, message her and just say, hey, did you have any questions about the webinar that we did or the, the, the Facebook Live we did? And it's just a phenomenal way to build her brand for a, lot, a little bit of money. I mean, Lisa, you can honestly do four, 40 of these for what you spent for that one week ad in Absolutely. terms of the boost. Absolutely. All right. So let me go ahead and clear these annotations. Uh, go into the chat box. Anybody else have any chats, uh, questions before I um, switch back over to the rest of the lesson? Let me go into the chat box here. Um, what do we got? Lost that. Here's the chat box. All right. Um, don't you love it? All right. Where's my chat box? Chat. Okay. Let's see what we got in the chat box. Lost my chat somewhere. Uh, let's see if I have it over here. Here's Sam Sam Samira got has one here. All right, Samira, um, Steve, wonderful news. I just got my pages merged through the link. Okay, Samira, congratulations. I, you're, you're, you're somebody I really want to help. Um, let me bring Samira on. Samira, unmute you. I'm blacked out. I'm sorry because I'm in my grubbies. No, I got you on the camera. You're, you're, you're broadcasting to millions. How are you? Oh, my God. No, no. I just got back from the U.S. Tennis Open and I look like a wreck. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I just want to say congratulations. Way to keep at it. Um, use the chat box after not having any luck getting your pages merged after migration. You're good to go. Uh, yeah, it's taken three months. Yeah. Now, if you had that link, yeah. you probably would have got it done in like, two, like one day. So congratulations. Right. Yeah, um, I'm, I've been having issues with the pixel though. It's telling me that my ads aren't effective because of the pixels not being active. Yeah, you, you, what you need to, the pick, okay, so there's two ways to create custom audiences. And I should probably just do, I, now in your members area, there's a whole thing about the pixel. Yeah, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll take care of it there, okay. Yeah. But let me, just, let me just preface that, you asked what the pixel is, okay? So if we go back two years, the only way to really retarget people, like what AdWorks does or what companies like Amazon do, where you look at a red purse and it starts to follow you around, was this. You would take the piece of code called the pixel code and you would put it onto each page of your website. Now, if you're using a WordPress site, you just enter the number into the plugin one time. Most of you just need to take the pixel and give it to your web designer, whoever manages your web page install it now the activation process samira is simply that facebook goes to your web page sees that it's there and now it's firing so okay. the you're getting is the same message we were getting um with helen letters page 
And so she's taking it to her web guy. He's installing the code and then it w you won't get that message anymore. Okay, it's not got it. Your ads, but it's affecting your ability to retarget the ads. Now okay. we come up to two, uh, uh, wherever we are, uh, uh, end of 2018. And there's another way to retarget people. And that's just to go into the ad interface and select people that have interacted with your content. Like I, like Lisa Hill can look at, look at people that have watched a video for more than a minute. And then she could create an audience amongst those people and just keep retargeting. It does the same thing that Pixel does, but you know. Right. You do both is what you do. You create an audience and then you also install the pickle. So, but that's above the head of a lot of the folks here. So we have a module that's dedicated that way. I wrote a 117 page ebook about the pixel and that should give you more information about the pixel than you ever want. Thanks for being a part of this, Samira. Hey, I want to bring Susie on. Susie, I'm so proud of you. Susie is a Facebook novice and she is a, a, a ball of energy out in New Smyrna Beach. You're doing Facebook Live. I love it. I'm having so much fun. My friend, you know, I didn't think Lisa, like, is the one that gets us all inspired, and you, of course. And um, at first, people were like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm having fun. And so, the, the you know, the more I do it, Lisa knows, the easier it gets, and the more you become such a ham. So... I mean, it's just ridiculous. So I'm going to, um, I'm ordering, uh, Lisa was kind enough to tell me the microphone that she uses. So if anybody doesn't know, um, my little blog thing is Susie on the move. So I'm, <laughs> I'm having somebody make me a box like CBS, NBC, whatever. And it's gonna go around my microphone and say <laughs> Susie on the move. <laughs> That is so awesome. I, 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 when I heard Susie on the move, I'm like, that is so brilliant because you're a realtor and your name's Susie and then Susie on the move is your hashtag. Uh, this is awesome. Now people ask, what's Susie on the move? Oh, it's that gal who's in real estate. She's always talking about cool stuff. My favorite thing is when she goes out and does the food reviews. Yeah, and by the way, Lisa and Steve, you'll be a little jealous tomorrow is the Daytona Beach Association Board of Realtors Social at the Shores Resort and Spa. So I'll be thinking of you in front of the fireplace having a cocktail. All right, well, I just wanted to bring you on real quick, say you're doing a great Thanks. job and stay at it. I'm watching what you're doing. All right, so um, let, me, let me look and see what other kind of questions we have here. Uh, Sam, which is better, boost or create ads? So Sam, um, create ads is always my go-to but it depends where you're along in the process. See, if we went into the ad creator, like I showed you in the video, in the upper right-hand corner, we went create ads. We went through the process, let's say, of hyper-targeting our audience. Now, you have that option of using that little boost post button. But what, uh, if you're gonna use the, and then there's a different level of it. If you use the boost post on your phone, it's not as powerful as using it on your computer. But there's a place for both of them. But when you have an option, go with the salad bar versus the pre-made salad. The pre-made salad being Boost Post, the salad bar being the Create Ad Tool. Because the, you, have, you have a lot more choices. Uh, the targeting is much richer, meaning that you can get your message in front of exactly who you want. But once that, mess, that audience is created, it, then you can save it. Now, now you can even do it from the boost post. But of course, you only can boost one post at a time. What if you want to run one ad to men, one ad to women, one ad to people in Orlando, one ad to people in Tampa? Now you got to be back in the ad creator. So I hope that answers that question, Sam. Susan Smith, is there, is there any way to post someone else's listing with their permission in an area where I'm trying to get business? So I uh, would think that if you you have their permission, you might want to get it in writing just to make sure. You also might want to check with your board just to make sure there's not an issue on that. But um, one thing I know in that realm of thinking that is working, and at least I know you're on the board of realtors. If you have any input on this, let me know. But um, Susan is in the Winter Garden uh, Board of Realtors, or, or uh, it might be Aura. But um, in any event, Susan, uh, one thing that does work where you can advertise other people's stuff, 99% of builders will let you play ball with them. So like what Lisa's done a few times, she's went out to new building projects, new subdivisions. She said, hey everybody, I'm one of the hottest building 
developments in the area. I'm not going to give you the name, but if you want the name, just enter your name below and I'll send you that spec sheets. I'll send you the pricing. I'll send you the uh, registration forms, the, everything you're going to need. Of course, her goal in doing this isn't to educate people all the way. It's to get leads. So that's why she's going to say, hey, I'm here. I'm not even going to talk about it because there's so, so much demand. Uh, I don't want to flood these people, but if you're interested, just go ahead and enter your name below or PM me. So going to a new home builder would definitely be something you could probably do in that, um, in that uh, regard. Dennis, can you enter your full name? Uh, Caroline Pepin probably wanted to add you as a friend and stay connected or follow you on Facebook. Uh, in fact, anybody who wants to go ahead and, and put in their, uh, uh, in the chat box, their business page link, uh, let's all like each other's pages. Also, it, go in the Facebook group and ask, ask everybody else to like your page. We should all be connected to each other. We should all be watching what each other are doing because that's where some of the best learning is going to come. And if you don't know, uh, where, if you haven't joined the Facebook group or aren't active in it, I'm going to repost it right now in the chat box uh, how you get to it. But uh, that would be a great place to post, Dennis, your, your business page. You could also enter it in the chat box below and uh, that. Um, one more question from Susan about doing, uh, doing uh, groups, but it's actually a friends list question as I'm guessing it. But let me show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. I'm gonna come here in here to uh, Facebook and uh, Go here to uh, uh, Facebook. All right. So here we are. We should be in front of Facebook, but I don't see it on the screen. So let me see what's going on here. Let's share this. There you go. So here we are in Facebook. Susan, assume this is you. You're in Facebook. You want to add from your personal profile where you have friends, people to a list. I just did this yesterday. Uh, somebody asked me to promote an event up in uh, the Mid-Atlantic that they were having. So I went through my friends and I found the 200 friends that were in the Mid-Atlantic in Maryland and I put them into a list so that when I go ahead and I talk about their event, it only is going to people that are in my Maryland list, all right? So you could go ahead and create those friends lists like past customer, prospect, sphere of influence, realtors local, realtors out of the area. And you do that if you've done it correctly by going to the upper left-hand corner over here is one way to do it. And then you go down here to friends list. So let me go ahead and annotate this for you just so that you can see it. We go first to this button up here in the upper left-hand corner. Then we go here to this tab called friends list. And then Susan, from there, you could do everything that you need to do. So I'm gonna go um, clear the screen right now. And I'll click on friends list. And then you can see what pops up. Now the friends list comes up, so you were asking how do you go ahead and access the list? Now the lists are right here. So if I want to go to my list of Maryland friends, I go left click here and now I have a custom list, a custom news feed, only of people that live in Maryland. That could be your sellers, that could be your buyers, that could be your sphere. And then I could go through this, I could pay attention to the people that are most important and I can also go on my timeline and then share to those lists. So this session isn't about that, but this session is always about you asking your questions. So I hope that helps you there. All right. Anybody have any other questions? Vinny, okay, we're going to like your business page. Vinny Warren. All right, Dennis, um, we answered your question. Let, let's do the rest of the lesson, then I'll come back. Keep your questions coming. I love when you're interactive with me. All right, so let's share some more. We got some more things to talk about. Now, when I talk about homeowners on this video, though, they've taken that away from us over the last two months. So there, you got to just remember the fourth part of this, the red arrow, it doesn't exist. But uh, our workaround is to substitute Zillow, Realtor.com, those kinds of things to find people that might be interested. And then, of course, if you're not in real estate, you know, you could just go with the categories we'll talk about. People that live in the area, zip code, and um, nearby. Um, let me fire a quick time. There you go. Let me 
just start this up. All right. Um, well, you know, the question you should be asking if you're a realtor is how can I use this? Well, you put up pictures of the local area. Um, you monitor these posts, you reach out to people, you, you, you say, hey, thanks for commenting, or you reach out to them like uh, saying, hey, uh, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Or, you know, have you ever been by the store? And the next thing you know, you have conversations going. Uh, you're asking about the six step process. Uh, you're gonna have access to that. If you look at the chat box, you'll be able to download the new slides and see the whole six step process. But it all starts with looking great, making sure your profiles look great. So as people research you, they're impressed. You've got a great uh, profile pic, you got a great cover. You're gonna add connections. That means on your personal profile, you get friends. On your business page, you get likes. Uh, Along the way, you're going to post interesting content, not content about you and your listings, your open houses, but content people are interested in, like where are the uh, uh, haunted house festivals right now? What are the five best ones in your area? Where, where can a kid go on a, a hayride? Uh, when January comes around, where, where are the offices for the um, tax assessor to get your homestead exemption? Then you automate some of this because once you uh, use a post planner or Hootsuite, then we do what we're doing right now. Once we got those posts going, give them some legs, invest at least a dollar, sometimes 10 to $20 to get a post off the ground. I, I'm going to show you at the end of this webinar one that I have going 24-7. And what it is is it's a, a post that says, happy birthday. Let me see if I could show you the picture. It's this picture right here. And it shows up in people's news feeds who are having a birthday. So I took all the fans that are on my business pages. I use a boost, uh, a, a promoted post feature that I'll show you later to target people that are having birthdays this week. And then I put this picture with a little text into their news feed. And so many people like this, comment on it, share it. I go up in Facebook's algorithm because I'm posting good stuff. I create goodwill with them. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So stay on the webinar end to end. Um, are some of these copyright info? Um, I don't know what that question means, Dan, but uh, if you're sharing people's posts, the, like the link in the Washington Post and, or Tony Robbins and you're giving them credit, that's why they're on social media. That is not a copyright issue. However, if you went out and took Tony Robbins' picture, downloaded it, and then used it for commercial purposes that you would benefit, I bet you'd get sued. That's why we use those websites like Shutterstock, up, up, uh, uh, some of the other ones that I'm uh, Canva, and we either use their royalty-free images or we use the paid images. All right, so back to boosting via the blue button. So we know why we're doing this, so let's learn how to do it. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I really am excited about this webinar. So if we're gonna post with the blue button, uh, the, one of the reasons to do it is it gives you this option to add a button to your post. And that, I really love that, because usually even if you go through that create, ad creator, you might see something like uh, a people on the other end might see this in their newsfeed. It would say sponsored posts like this, and then they would say like the page. Well, people like the post, but they don't necessarily want to like the page right now. So that may or may not be effective for you. But if you include send message, then you're making it real easy for them to message you and say, hey, loved your post on the shortest distance between two points. I have a question about um, going to one of your seminars and all of a sudden the conversation started. As I said, I would rather them use this than even use an opt-in form and it's easier to get them to do that. And how am I gonna get that button there? I'm gonna go ahead and boost the post for a dollar and then even when my boost is done after a day for a dollar, that button is still gonna show up in the post if they find it. You with me? So we might have a two-step process here. Boost your post initially for a dollar, get the button on the post, then use some of my other techniques to go ahead and expand that audience beyond the boost. So this is a reason why we might wanna use the boost post button. Again, you're not gonna have as many options. However, 
if you've done what I've taught you, which is to get a lot of likes on your business page, either by using the migration feature, I teach, I've been teaching at the seminar for a year, or um, you've just went out there and organically done it. Now, if I want to boost a post from my mobile device or from the computer, I just click this radio button that says people that like my page. And rather than, and I have a dollar, so for a dollar I can only get out to like, you know, 70 to 200 people on a paid basis. I got to say, I don't want to reach all five or 6,000 on this page. I want to only reach people where I'm doing business. So I make it real easy to not only people that like my page, but that are living in these cities. And all I do to do that is I would click edit and then I would go ahead and be given the option to target it based on geography. Let's say that you were doing an event in a certain part of town. Um, you didn't want to necessarily promote the event, but you want to create brand awareness about networking or whatever you do. You go ahead and promote it to people that like your page so you get a lot of engagement and you only show it to people that are going to be in that city that you're in. Let's say you're in network marketing or direct sales and you happen to be going to Washington State and you wanted the people to know your name. You would go ahead and then promote it to people that already like your page in that area. Or you could choose to people who like your page and their friends. So when we do the fundamental work, we get a lot of likes. Now boosting makes more sense than if you're just starting out on Facebook and you, you, only, got 20, you only have 20 likes on your business page. Because if you boost it to them, you're not going to reach very many people. Or if you boost it to them and their friends, that might be a good strategy for your dollar. But what we'll also do, because we're going to use the ad creator, that drop down menu, we're going to start creating audiences. And when you create these audience, now they're saved and you could just hand pick one of those audiences. But again, you have to do everything right from the beginning. So Boost Place has its place. It's going to be more effective if you do everything else I teach you, including getting likes and creating these saved audiences. Even in that video that Facebook put together, it's about the organic food in San Francisco, targeting people that like healthy living and, and organic vegetables. See, they would save it and then they could go ahead and just in one click say, I want to promote it to people that like my page that also, uh, or uh, in their example, people that just like organic stuff in, in, uh, Washington, in um, San Francisco. Of course, that would be more than a dollar post. That would be a hundred dollar post or a twenty dollar uh, post boost. All right, so um, you can see how it, 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 it if you start it with the boost, that you're going to go ahead and get that button. Um, easy audience to go to as you get more likes. People that like your page or people that like your page and their friends. Maybe it's geo targeted. Maybe it's not. And then as you add the blue arrow, you'll have the option to use the drop down. So. Boosting post is getting better and better, but you need to do a few other things first, like get likes and create saved audience. The next screen that happens when you're using the blue button is you would scroll down and then it would say budget. So you can choose a daily budget or you can choose a budget for the lifetime of the post. You could choose to run this ad until, you know, January 1st. 2018 or you can choose to do it for as little as a dollar in this example we're going to use a dollar a day it's saying that based on your post we guess that you'll reach between 84 and 220 now that number might soar as people like and share it but that's what you'll be paying to get in front of sounds like a pretty good deal to me over here in this green arrow you'll see that um that the audience here is 390 and why I point that out is sometimes when you boost a post or you create an audience and you go below a thousand people it'll try to say hey your audience is too narrow you need to broaden it you're gonna see this less than a thousand people but how many less is it one person 390 or 999 so this is one of the places where as you have those saved audiences let's say I chose to just target right here to people that worked at Keller Williams in the Bothell office that's a, a spreadsheet that I uploaded that has 225 agents. We were doing an event with them, so it took the spreadsheet, I uploaded it. Then it would say for a dollar, you could reach this many of 225. So I point that out to you. And then you also want to make sure that you're, uh, for all your posts that you use in the Facebook pixel, you've activated it. So now <clears throat> people that um, are responding, it fires the pixel, especially if they're 
going over to your website or they're going to your opt-in page. Now, a Facebook pixel is beyond the scope of what we're going to talk about today, but um, it's a little piece of code that they'll get uh, that you get once. Mine happens to be here. And all I do is I put that on a website and then anybody that hits that website page, I can go ahead and retarget to them. Um, it's something that you'll want to ask your web designer about or whoever manages your web page. If you use a WordPress site, you'll just type in that code and then you'll be able to see how many people went from the ad to that page. Let's say your page on uh, great sweaters at your antique store or your article on advertising and then you could retarget to them. A little beyond today, boosting, but these are some things that you need to be aware of. Just turn that on, set this for the time frame you want, set your budget at least for a dollar a day. If it's a seven-day ad, it's at least seven dollars, okay? And um, it's that easy. Facebook will then say, hey, we're doing a quick review on it, and then you'll get notified that your ad has been approved or there's an issue. 99% of the time it's going to be approved because they would give you a red caution and say, hey, you have too much text in your picture, so you'd want to keep that below 20%. You could also request a manual review. Here you'll see that I uh, changed the budget. To, uh, they're asking me if I want to add more to my, my budget. I'm going to decline their generous opportunity to take my ad from $1 to $3.00. And they also gave me a summary. If I clicked here, I would see the geo-targeting that I have for those nine locations. So it's super simple to use. Now, that's the easy way. That's buying the salad at, uh, that's pre-made. Now I'm going to show you the pro's way to do it. And initially, you're going to want to go ahead and do this. And now, if you go the easy route, you'll have more targeted options. So I'm going to start in the upper right-hand corner from a desktop interface with that drop down arrow I'm going to go to where it says create ads and now I'm going to have a lot more options at my disposal first thing that's going to come up is a sub menu um, that actually will say different uh, like traffic reach engagement about 15 different options. We're going to go after engagement, so we'll choose engagement, and then we'll drop down. It'll show us this menu, and we'll have three choices, page likes, post engagement, or event responses. I'm not that interested in page likes unless I'm Coca-Cola. What I'm going to go after, uh, though there are applications where you do want to get uh, more page likes, uh, let's say you're targeting a farm area. But I want to get a post engagement. I could go ahead and then invite them to like the page. So I'd rather set it up so that the ad is designed so that they're more likely to give me a like, a love, a wow, or a comment. If it's an open house or an event like for your leads group or your networking group, you set it up as an event on your business page and then you choose this one that says event responses. But for 90% of our stuff, we're going to go with this one right here. You're going to want to name it something. In this example, I have multiple business pages, so I put this on business success training. I name the post Memorial Day, and I what kind of um, uh, I, I'm using a traffic engagement leads. I'm using an engagement ad. This allows me, when I go into the um, – the, uh, interface that shows me the results to better quickly see how my ads are doing. Now, after I go ahead and say, okay, this is the next screen that shows up. And it would normally say, you know, uh, 192 million people on Facebook. It would say, uh, they would have a drop down here that said uh, P, uh, four different choices, people, all people in the area. This wouldn't be filled out. This is what would pop up and this is what, how you need to fill it out. So the first thing you're going to do with this green area for a lot of your stuff, you're going to go after people who live in the location. That's going to take your audience in this example from, you know, 16,000 people to eight. Instead of people just driving through this zip code right here, so you could start with zip code, then the second thing you could do, it really doesn't matter, just set that one up to people who live, go ahead and put the zip code. Now I've got people that are on Facebook in this zip code, and I got rid of the people that just drive in for the day, and I've got people that live in this high income zip code, okay? Um, 
depending on what you're promoting, you're going to want to adjust the age. Let's say this is an open house or it's an article about, uh, it's a picture about a new pub opening, a new restaurant opening. I'm going to promote this to people that live in the zip code that are between 29 years of age and 65. I don't care whether they're men or women in this example, but I also went down to detailed targeting and I chose homeowners. So doing these four clicks right here, I was able to take this broad audience of probably 50 to 150,000 people, narrow it down to people that live here that are homeowners. And now it has kicked me out an audience of 8,400 people. Now, if I want to reach all 8,400 people, the general rule is about $10 to reach 700. So I, if I'm willing to invest $120, I'm going to reach those people that are going to be on Facebook over the time period that I've designated. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, enter them into the chat box and we'll come back to them. I'm not monitoring that live right now, but I can come back to them later if you have any questions or write your questions down. Now, this box over here shows you the estimated daily results. Now, this is based on $11, okay? If you drop it down to a dollar, these numbers are gonna go down dramatically, like 50 to 85. But this is, uh, you know, if you're gonna really do this and you wanted to reach 8,000 people, why drip it out at a dollar a day? Set it up as $11, maximum budget 120. Set it up to go for a week or two. And let's see what kind of engagement we get on our posts from homeowners or comments. You might be able to open up a conversation where you're able to go out there and sell them insurance or sell them, you know, uh, an idea of selling their property. The next, uh, you're going to save the audience, which would be just scrolling down, and then you only have to do this once. So now you'd have an audience that you would save, and you would call it um, 32789-homeowners. 29 plus. So now when you're on your boost post option, you want to just use the blue button. If you say today, I want to reach that audience of homeowners in that zip code again, all you're going to do is click there. Call it homeowners 32789, maybe add 29 plus so that you know what that audience is. And when you go into your boost post on your phone and you've got 125 audiences, you'll be able to get it the right message, the right person. Um, the, it'll default to automatic placements. I would recommend that we use edit placements to use this strategy. And we'll leave this as all devices recommended, the yellow area. But by going to edit placements, we got these two to open up. And what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck all the options except Facebook's news feed. Since we are after engagement from a very specific audience, where we want likes, loves, and comments, we aren't gonna go ahead and dilute our message and advertise on Instagram or advertise on third-party networks. We're gonna get more of our dollars working where the dollars are gonna be more effective and that's Facebook. All right, now we could always come back and run a second ad to, to millennials on Instagram, but it might be a little bit different and it might be a little bit different strategy. All we would do then is get into Instagram's newsfeed and stories. The first thing is the image is gonna probably be a different size. So Facebook owns Instagram, but what I recommend, and what most of my friends who get real results, a lot of bang for their buck, they go ahead and they target one of these at a time. I hope you are caught that, okay? So these are what we do on that screen, and when you go through and run your first ad, just have the slides open or have your print out there so you can see what I'm doing. This is the most current information. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the budget, and you can either use the drop-down lifetime or we're gonna use daily. This can be as low as $1. You can run your ad continuously, like I run my happy birthday ads targeted to people whose birthdays are coming up this week who have liked my page. Or you can set a start and an end date. Now, this start date does not have to be today. You can go ahead on Monday and start running your open house uh, promotions for Friday at, uh, the, the 11th through Saturday the 12th or through Sunday the 13th at, um, at, I'm sorry, the Sunday the 15th, Friday the 13th to Sunday the 15th. And, and you could set this to shut off 
at 1 p.m. or at 4 p.m. These are Pacific time, so if you're on the East Coast, add three hours to it. Uh, if you're logging in on the East Coast, it might show East Coast times. So we're gonna do one thing, the budget. How long is it gonna run? When's it gonna start or stop? We're gonna leave the rest of this alone. And then this is gonna show us what our estimated reach is of the total reach, okay? If I was going after an audience of 8,200, you know, if I really wanted to ramp it up, I could do an ad for $120 for two days, $60 a day maximum budget, or $120 for the uh, lifetime budget. And the great thing about Facebook, it can scale it up that fast. That's why when we promote our content and our events, like open houses, we, we want to reach a lot of people, not over a 14-day period, but all between Friday and Saturday and Sunday when we're top of mind and they're thinking about what are we going to do this weekend. It's cloudy out. Let's go to an open house. So great thing about Facebook, you can get out there as fast or as slow as you want. My, my, my um, birthday ad that runs perpetually, you know, that's, a, you know that's, that's $5 a day, but the audience is so small, I never spend more than, you know, 20 cents a day. But it's a nurture ad. It goes ahead and stick, keeps me top of mind. And then the final screen that you'll come to after you okay all that stuff is where you create the ad. And I'm giving you an example of the birthday ad here. Um, so if I wanted to run an ad to people's whose birthday it was, instead of where it said homeowners under demographics, let me see if I go there where, the, where we targeted it. Instead of homeowners right here, I would choose people, I would choose, just type in the words upcoming birthdays. And then I would drop down to another one below it where it says connection type and choose people that like my page whose upcoming birthday it is. I would choose, do I want to promote this from this page or another page? I actually created a post that doesn't appear on my timeline. It's called a dark post. It's a post that's scheduled to go in the future, but it'll never actually be posted to my page unless I choose it. Not to confuse you, but you may hear people talk about dark post. I went ahead and I started promoting a post that isn't scheduled to come up on my, news, on my, on my page until January 1st. So here it is. That's called pre-juicing your post. So if you have an open house, you don't want it to hit your page until Friday. You and your assistant are sitting down on Monday. You can go ahead and schedule that post to appear Friday at noon when a lot of people are getting ready to leave work and go home and have conversations with their spouse. In the meantime, you could also be advertising it so it gets into people's feeds. And then when it hits Facebook, it'll have a lot of likes, comments, and shares already you can monitor those and you'll get more organic reach. It's an advanced strategy. I wasn't even going to talk about it, but um, that's how this is set up. But the meat of this is I go ahead, I type in something short and sweet, happy birthday week. I gave myself a hyper tag in two different spots. I said it, make it the best ever. I used an emoji of a birthday cake. Now, I, uh, because I originally set this up as a boost, I'm, uh, I'm able to go ahead and uh, have the button there that says send message. They are rolling this out to some of your accounts where you won't even have to boost it and you could do it. Always go ahead and take advantage of that. Now, there's different options where um, it'll say buy now or learn more your two most popular make a note is either send message or learn more the other ones are too committed like call now people are like well i like it but i don't want to call my question in i'll just make a comment below but this is very non-confrontational people click there and then they send a message like how'd you know it was my birthday and i say oh a little bird told me I say, how are you doing with your social media? Not good. Maybe you should become a member of our program where you can have ongoing things. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. Great. We're running a special. Let's get you registered. And I'm, I'm on my way to making a sale. In reality, I don't even try to make sales. I just have conversations and people invite me to events and then I make the sales from there. But it's the same in your business. So anyways, um, again, if I could get them to do that, the bots can take over if I want. That's another lesson we'll be covering later in the year early neck in 2018. But um, 
again, I run this uh, up, uh, uh, perpetually. You can do that with upcoming birthdays. Just make sure that you also set that the device they're on is the, uh, uh, that they, they're the people that like your page so you're not just randomly wishing people happy birthday. All right. So we're back at, um, we've, we've promoted the post either via the button or via the ad creator. And now we got results. So a couple things that you're going to be able to monitor these results. You know, we talked about engaging with the 333 things. You could also click on share, see who shared it. You can send them a comment like, thank you for sharing my post. What are they going to be encouraged to do in the future? Share more posts. You could ask those people a question. Did you have a loved one that, uh, let me, I'm conducting a survey of people that shared this. What, uh, did you happen to lose somebody, a friend or family member? in the military and they start telling you about their, that they lost both their father and their brother. All of a sudden you can have a conversation, not about your business or opportunity, but about them. But now you have a friend and you say, Hey, is it okay to send you a friend request? And now you've went from your business page to, Hey, you're a neat person. Let's be friends on Facebook. And, and again, I'm looking at this right in my newsfeed. I'm able to see it. You're not going to see that when you look at the post. That's one important thing here. I look there to see how this post did. I don't even have to go into these analytics. I just look right here. I can see 7,800 people. I hover over it. I see how many were paid in organic, and I'm good. I also can click this button right here where it says view results, and that's where it would show me that I paid $38 to do it. You know, 60% of the people that clicked on it were women. 40% were men. The average, uh, I got more clicks from the 55 to 65 demographic than I did from millennials. And now if I really wanted to tweak it out, next time I do a military post, I don't even bother going to the millennials with it. I only go to my audience that really reacts well, and I even get more juice out of it. You can't do that with postcards. You can't do that with mailers, but you can do it with these. And that's why we name them properly so we can tweak it. Um, like this one, uh, this guy at Ignite You Travel, friend of mine, Kieran Murray, he filmed a, a Facebook Live. I went to his business page. I shared it to my business page. I added a comment about it being a huge success and that we still have some tickets for our next event. I promoted it for like, you know, $5. And right now, as of last night, when I clipped this, I went ahead and uh, still had $1.29 left on my post. I can go through these comments and see who's liking it. I can send them a flyer. I can engage them. I can send them a coupon code. I like this guy's comment. And when I go back to Tampa, I'm on his radar. So I hope you've really enjoyed this uh, webinar. We aren't done. I'm going to open it up for Q&A. But uh, if you don't know who I am, I'm Steve Black. I conduct the successsummitseminar.com that goes around the country. If it's not coming to your city, fly in and check it out. You're going to get more ideas in one day than most trainers will give you in a week. Uh, if you are one of my students, uh, if you ever have a, a need for a big event or you want us to come in and train your people, or even do webinars for your people, you can hire me to do that. Uh, my mobile business card is steveblack.biz. You just type that into your browser and then you'll be able to find our business page, us on LinkedIn, message me personally. Or you could go ahead and uh, just message our office. It's actually sales at businesssuccesstraining.com, 770. All right. Well, we've covered so much today. Um, so check your chat box because I just put the specific video on how to do that happy birthday ad in there. So it's like a four minute video. If you do that step by step, it's one of my favorite things because what you're doing after you're, you're Lisa Hill and you have 5,000 likes or you're Mike Rennick and you have 100,000 likes or you're uh, Helen Letter who just did the merge or Samira Easton and who has, you know, three, 4,000 likes. Now you can run an ad that says happy birthday from the Keller Williams Samira Eastern team just to the people whose birthday is this week. And that video shows you exactly how to do it. So um, questions, anybody have any questions? Raise your hand and I'll um, try to jump in and, and get them. Somehow my chat box ended up on the next screen. So I'm, I'm going back and forth on this, but uh, I have another device here where I could uh, see your chats and unmute you. Otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna wrap this up pretty soon. 
Okay, anybody have any questions? Well, I want to I want to thank everybody for being on the call. I, I, I it's great to uh, get in your Facebook group. I put the link there. I'm going to put into that recorded area, the members area. This webinar, I'll include the chat box and all the good stuff that what goes along with it. Uh, you know, we've still got uh, Caroline on the line. Caroline, Carolyn, Dennis, Denny, Denny, Helen Letter showed up. Karina, Lisa Hill, thank you for your input. Dennis, thank you for your input. Mei Ling. Uh, Renee, Sam, Samir Easton, Shelly, Susan Smith, Susie Gordon, Vinny, Yolanda Realty, uh, Renee. I mean, we got so many people on here. It's just great to see y'all. I hope you're having a great summer. We're going to be back in October talking about Instagram. Um, in November, we're going to get Mike Rennick on here talking about how he got 100,000 likes on his business page. So just really excited about ro what's rolling out and moving forward. I'm going to be back in Florida for the brand new Success Summit seminar event. You guys get a special rate. You get $100, uh, $100 off our best online rate or $200 off our best online rate. I'll, I'll do one better for you. If you want to come out, it's going to be a new event. We're going to be doing it on February 27th in Orlando. So if you're in Seattle or you're in California or you're in Maryland or one of my other uh, cities that I service people, come on down. February 27th is going to be a very uh, special day. We're going to be launching a new Success Summit event, all new content, latest ideas. I'll try to get Lisa Hill out there. I'll try to get a few other of my top students. Hopefully, Dennis, you'll come down and uh, we'll be able to rock and roll. Helen, I want to put you unmute you for a second. I see you got your head down. but. Uh, She's looking at me going, don't do this. Hold on. <laughs> Helen, congratulations. We got your migration done and we got your merge. How you doing? Yes, I, I don't even know what I look like. I'm not looking. But okay. I tell you what, um, yes, that was amazing. You, you would not give up. I appreciate you so much. And it looks like it's going to work, but I'm still waiting for my web designer to work on the pixel thing. I don't know. He disappeared, so I'm going to have to do it myself, I guess. Um, gotcha. I'll figure it out. You know, this old bird will figure it out. <laughs> well, you're doing, you're doing great, hon. And another thing is, I, I really like the fact that you're trying. You know, I like the fact you're posting your events, uh, open houses as events. I love the videos you've done. I know it can seem like a slow path, but keep trudging along. And then the secret is understand how to boost these posts to the right people. So yeah. Ripple is pretty easy. Y'all should try it. It's pretty great. Yeah, Ripple. Ripple, R-I-P-L, put it on your phone and create these little videos. Another great way. Helen, I'm going to meet you out, but great, thanks for being here. Thanks for being active. Anybody else have any questions? Carolyn, yeah, it could be overwhelming. So um, go through your notes and, you know, the best way to do learn this stuff is to do it. Everybody that, that, that spoke on this event uh, has been a novice at one time or another. When I got a hold of Lisa Hill, she had less than 500 likes on her business page. She had... Uh, literally a uh, bad branded image, you know, people posting stuff they shouldn't have been. We, we, we took her from there to where she's at now. Uh, her business has exploded. She's been the top listing agent. We got a lot of people on here that are, you know, therapists, public speakers, different folks. So t guys, don't blank out. Just take what we're talking about and apply it to your business. Uh, if anybody wants me to look at their social media, you know, you just send us a message. I'll look at what I think you need to be doing different. A lot of times I can spot those little things like your employment section or, um, just, just putting a call button and all that. So that's part of this program. Enjoyed being with you. Uh, if you didn't have any, uh, if you didn't, I didn't get to your question, just send me a private message. Make sure you have my cell phone number. That's probably the best way to reach me. Just text me at 407-790-1141. Let me put that in the chat box. Uh, 407-790-1141. Uh, if you send me a text, I'll, I'll even get to you faster than with coaching at business success training. I'll see you at the top. Have a great fall. Let's finish the last year strong and let's make the new year's the best year ever. See you at the top. Thank you, everybody. Great seeing you.